Hey you guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, still in Denver. I just wrapped up like our first moving vlog, but it's snowing outside. Um, SOS, I'm not prepared. It's November 1st and it's snowing. <laughs> Let me see if I can show you guys. Okay, so you can't really see, but like I'm freaking out because I don't even have a winter jacket yet. So SOS, please send me winter jacket recommendations in the comments. I need that so bad. Um, it is uh, almost noon, almost noon o'clock. Um, I'm eating a little bit of a snack. It's like a snacky lunch. I've been, I've been like super hungry this whole time that I've been here. So I'm just like eating a lot. And that's fine. I have a private session at one o'clock and then I have a class at three. And that's kind of the deal for today. Just gonna take you along with me. I am like freezing cold. I should probably turn the heat on. <laughs> It's now Sunday. I'm back in Phoenix. Uh, I just finished teaching five classes. I've been dicking around on TikTok for the last 90 minutes and I am eating lunch right now. I need to film two videos today. Um, get those ready to go for this week. Um, I also need to do some closet clean out. This vlog is going to include um, a little haul of stuff that I got from Abercrombie and also like some closet clean out stuff. So we've got that to look forward to, um, but I'm gonna eat. So just hang out with me for a second and then we'll get a move on. For those of you that don't know me, hi, my name's Margaret. I'm 25. Wait, I'm 26. I live in Arizona, but I am moving to Colorado in December and I don't have any cold weather clothes because to me, 75 degrees is cold. So I went to Abercrombie and I got three long sleeve bodysuits. I got two new pairs of jeans and I got two new bras because mine don't fit. Because if you don't know, if this is the first video you're watching of mine, I'm a full-time Pilates instructor and I don't wear, I don't wear like real clothes. I don't wear real bras. I wear sports bras all day, every day. So uh, yeah, <laughs> this is what I got. Um, I bought a lot of stuff from Abercrombie before. So I do kind of know already how the jeans fit. I'm hoping that these, um, fit kind of similarly to the other pairs of jeans that I have from them. I got two pairs of the, they're like a curve love jeans. So they have kind of a more curvy fit. And then I got three bodysuits that are actually all kind of neutral colors. So anyway, let's get into the outfits. Okay, first thing I've got right here is the next to naked triangle bralette. I'm a big bralette person. Um, I think I'm gonna have to wear this for a little bit just to kind of see how it sits, but I got this in two colors. I think this is the Sienna color. I don't know. I got it in a size small, but I got it in this color and in this color. So I'm gonna try this one on two. It's like a long line triangle bralette um, and it kind of crisscrosses in the front so that your boobies don't fall out. I like this. Um, I'm gonna give this right now a nine out of 10. I enjoy it. I might take the pads out and see how that fits a little bit better. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. I actually think that fits, um, a lot better now without the pads in it. 
Um, it has adjustable straps and it's just like, you know, it's nice and basic. I'll just keep wearing this bralette to really see how it goes. Ah, okay. Ooh, this feels so comfy already. Um, I got all of their bodysuits in a medium because I find, like I'm 5'7", I'm not like atrociously tall, but I'm not short either. So I found a medium in the bodysuits is the best to fit my height. Mm, I already love this. Mm, I love this. Ooh, I love this. Okay, I'm not gonna show you the full thing because it is a thong in the back, so we're not, we're not that kind of channel. Let me take my mic off though, so it doesn't look like I have a growth on me. Um, I got the Curve Lev High Rise 90s blah, blah, blah jeans. <laughs> I don't know, it's probably more than that. Um, I'm hoping that these fit. I have a 28 in the other styles of jeans that I have from Abercrombie. Um, but yeah, I got a 28. Curve Love, the 90s straight ultra high rise. I think these will be hopefully a good length. They look like they might actually be a little bit big though. These might actually be too big. Okay, so these jeans are definitely too big. I don't, I don't think we're gonna get a full body shot today. They just like, They're definitely too big in the waist, so I was wrong on the sizing. I'm wondering if maybe I'd gotten them in a 27, they would have fit better. Cause I think the pair that I got before was a Curve Lev ankle straight jean. So I wonder if it's like the ankle thing, I don't know. But let's see if this other pair fits. It is the same exact. Just like, it's the same exact cut. Let's see. If it doesn't fit, that's not a big deal. I have other jeans that fit, so I'm not worried about it, but. Okay, these fit better. These actually fit a lot better. Isn't that so weird that like, isn't that weird? Do you not, do you not think that's weird? These are the exact same size, the exact same cut. The only difference is those have holes and these don't. And these like actually fit my body a lot better. I think I probably could have gotten away with a 27 in these. Ah, oh, my hip. I don't know if I return them and get them in a 27. I think like these fit totally fine and they fit like a little bit looser, which honestly I like. Let me show you guys a full length in the mirror. Okay, so these are like a more full length denim. They're just kind of like baggy. Um, I actually think I probably could have gotten away with a 27. So I might return these and get them in a 27. I think the other one just doesn't fit right, but these fit right. So I'm gonna return these and get them in a 27. I love this top, I <laughs> like this bodysuit. It's so comfortable. Oh. <laughs> love this, okay. Okay, well that's a bummer. Both of the jeans are a no. Um, let me try this on with a different pair of jeans so you can get the whole thing and really see what the deal is. So these jeans are jeans from Everlane that are a 27 and yeah, I give this outfit a 10 out of 10. Absolutely, 10 out of 10. These are more of like an ankle cut jean, but I think that they look really good. So, okay, so the bodysuit's a keep. The bra so far is a keep. This one's square neck and all these colors are gonna make me look naked. <laughs> I kind of love it though. So, like I'm not mad by this at all. Oh, it's already clipped. Oh, well this bra isn't gonna work with this bodysuit. I think I do have to wear a different bra with this one um, cause it's a square neck and the bra is kind of more of like a crisscross. I really enjoy it, I like this. Okay, 10 out of 10. This bodysuit is the same exact bodysuit as the other one that I wore in the beginning. Um, love it. Brown, like I'm not really big into um, more of like a chocolatey brown. It's not quite my vibe but I like this. So, so far um, the bodysuits are all a huge W, the jeans are all a no. <laughs> the jeans didn't fit. Let me show you guys though, I have another pair of jeans. I have a pair of jeans that I got last year from Abercrombie that I think they're gonna be too big. 
I got them in a 29 because you guys like last year if you watched any of my videos you know I was probably I don't know 15 pounds heavier than I am right now oh yeah these are way too big they don't fit these need to go okay so body suits are all in A+. Plus. I 10 out of 10 recommend bodysuits from Abercrombie. They're the only bodysuits that I have. I, I love them. I can't live without them. Okay, here is the same bralette in a different color. I honestly think these fit differently. <laughs> I don't know. I might return them. I am, I'm like super weird about bras. Um, so I don't know, I might return them. I bought another a strapless bra and another bralette that I know are gonna fit because I am literally just buying ones that I already own but in the correct size. So I might return these, uh, I don't know. Okay, so I don't know if I've said this to you guys yet but my moving date to Colorado was moved up by month, but like by my own choice because I came home from Colorado last Wednesday and I got off that plane and I was like, I do not want to fucking be here anymore. So uh, I talked to my fiance, we figured out how we could, I could get out there earlier. He's coming to a wedding in Phoenix. This weekend we decided he would just fly out here and then we'll drive back um, after the wedding. So that means I need to get my shit together and I have been so overwhelmed that I just haven't been able to do anything. I've been so overwhelmed that like every time I'm like, oh, I should do this. I just like, I sit on my couch and I like can't, I can't move because I'm overwhelmed and I'm emotional and I'm like happy and sad at the same time. And it's very confusing and it's very conflicting. And I just, I feel like, I'm like so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to move and I'm so excited to be with him. I am just like, I've lived in Phoenix since I was eight in this same like five mile radius and it is so hard to say goodbye people and it's so hard to say goodbye to my clients and it's like I feel so many emotions and I'm just a lot is going on <laughs> in my beautiful brain um so what we're gonna do is just get together some clothes that I need to get rid of give to Goodwill and we're gonna start there and that's what I've got for right now. Also, my light in my closet is broken, so I'm just gonna plop y'all right here, and hopefully it doesn't get too friggin' dark. Do you see what I'm working with? Like, I need to get this light fixed. It's like, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Today, it's an off day, I guess. reminder I need to go get more packing tape yeah because this is done for okay cool <laughs> like, I just have all this shit that I don't want to wear it so I'm giving I'm gonna donate all of this stuff like any stuff that's on my that's been living on the floor of my closet is going to be donated I thought about selling some stuff on Poshmark, but I think at this point it's going to be more work than it's worth.
But in terms of like everything in my room, the stuff that's coming with me, my bedside tables, my lamp. My bedding gets to go in the garbage. I'll bring my sheets with me so we have a second set of sheets. My bed is staying here. I'll bring those with me because I made those. I think I'm gonna take my plant and that basket. I'll take my second monitor and the stuff on the walls. My mirror I don't think is gonna fit in my car so it might have to live here or at my parents' house. My desk and my chair are staying here. I'll maybe bring my rug. Uh, but other than that, like my pillows I'll toss because they're old, they need to be tossed anyway. I'll probably toss most of my towels because I've ruined most of them with benzoyl peroxide. So it's really just like clothes and these couple pieces of furniture which all fit in my car pretty easily. So I don't know if I'm like downplaying the stuff that I have and like downplaying the move, but I think it's gonna go okay. I feel confident this vlog was the most chaotic thing that I have ever produced and put onto the internet, but <laughs> with that, I'm going to bring it to a close. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Remember, you're awesome, you can do anything you put your mind to, and I will see you guys in our next video. I just can't resist, oh. you got me